Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and just like the previous film that I just uh, reviewed that I just shot This is another beloved franchise and this is the fourth live action film in the franchise Very coincidental. So I was talking about The Matrix earlier and now I'm talking about Ghostbusters Who doesn't who has watched the movie and doesn't love Ghostbusters the first movie who doesn't love Ghostbusters if you don't like Ghostbusters uh, Then I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, anyway, this is a movie which I've been waiting for a very long time ever since it was announced. And to be honest, I was hoping for more sequels after the second movie came out. Um, I for They could have actually done something in the 90s. They could have done something in the 2000s. But then they made the 2016 movie, which to be honest, every, most people hate it. I didn't really hate it, to be honest. I... Uh, I just didn't I just didn't like it that much I don't hate it though it was uh, it, it was uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> it was not done the way to be honest I st I've been saying the word honest girlfriend I still wanted movies where we would see and I know uh, uh, Harold Ramis has passed passed away but uh, I still would have wanted to have seen the three of them you know teaching the next generation, adding on people to their staff, uh, you know, something like that. Um, and which you get to see a little bit of that in this film, but um, that's something, you know, have them be still be part of those films, uh, a major, play a major role in those part of the films uh, is what I would have loved to see, uh, rather than the cameos that you're actually getting to see in this film. And to be honest, I wish we had ever had that and it's a lost chance i don't think these actors are going to be coming back to play these roles again i'm not really sure but that is a missed chance as far as i'm concerned uh, because i believe there's a cartoon series in which they actually do this uh, i'm not sure i i only watched a couple of episodes of that so i don't really remember anyway ghostbusters afterlife is the fourth film in the franchise uh, directed once again by uh, sorry directed by jason reitman written by reitman and gil keenan the movie stars, of course, it's a supernatural comedy film. The movie stars uh, Carrie Coon, uh, Finn Wolfhard, uh, McKenna Grace, Bukim Woodbine, Paul Rudd, Logan Kim, who's pretty funny in the movie, by the way, the young kid actor, and Celeste O'Connor. Uh, the movie is the sequel to Ghostbusters from 1984, uh, Ghostbusters 2 from 1989, and is the fourth film in the Ghostbusters franchise, so I guess you're not looking into 2016's fiasco that it was and this is set 32 years after the events of Ghostbusters 3 that is the biggest problem it ended in uh, the, the the movie is a sequel to something that happened 32 years ago so you know there they should have been something in between of at least for me as a fan three to four films <laughs> but yeah uh, so basically, uh, Carrie Coon is playing uh, the daughter, the estranged daughter of uh, Eon Spengler. Her name is Callie Spengler. She, uh, her husband left the family. She's got a young uh, son, around um, six, fifteen years old, uh, played by Finn Wolfhard named Trevor. And they've got, she's got a younger daughter, uh, McKenna Grace, who is kind of very similar to Eon Spengler, even though she's never met him. Her name is Phoebe Spengler, and I love the name Phoebe in this. Um, so the house is left, uh, uh, the house that Eon Spengler was living in in Oklahoma trying to uh, find uh, the dark forces of uh, uh, the uh, Goza, the god, the Sumerian god Goza uh, uh, trying to fight and uh, you know stop the apocalypse that could kind of happen if they come in. Uh, he's been hiding and trying to buy this time fighting. However, he is killed. Um, he dies and he leaves the house to his, uh, it's a rundown shack uh, in the middle of nowhere, uh, to his daughter and she and her kids come to meet, sorry, come to get the, she's hoping that she can make some money out of it because she is broke, but uh, you know, all they've got is the house. So she decides to set, settle down there for some time, see if she can fix things up and make some money, but uh, you know, uh, her kids, uh, Especially uh, McKenna Grace's character Phoebe with her friend uh, the, uh, uh, Logan Kim who calls himself podcast because he maintains a podcast. Uh, 
they do this they discover some of these devices they go into the caves the abandoned mine where these uh, uh, like you know um, um, basically the build to this uh, goes a god and uh, you know where the the uh, spirits the ghosts are actually hiding out and some of them have been released into the wild and so it's basically them finding out about all these things and the kids especially and uh, Paul Rudd plays a teacher in the school that McKenna Grace and uh, McKenna Grace is studying in and then he sets, he develops a uh, an admiration for the young kid and also starts a relationship with uh, uh, with Callie and uh, he and uh, uh, you know he's trying to help them out as well when uh, the two young kids along with Finn Wolfhard's character Trevor uh, who's driving the the old car uh, they start trying to catch a couple of the ghosts and then they run into you know uh, major trouble with the with they and they go to get uh, sorry the two uh, the gate uh, the gatekeeper and the uh, oh, I forgot that what are those gatekeeper and the uh, I forgot those two uh, almost like devilish guard dog animals that take over both uh, Callie as well as uh, Paul Rudd's characters. Paul Rudd's character is called Gary Gruberson. <laughs> Gruberson, sorry. And uh, they take over them. Uh, the, what is it? The gatekeeper and the time master somewhere. And uh, when they unite, they will let uh, let the Goozer God out. Um, so they do get to the, uh, the caves and this creature comes out. Uh, of course, it's up to the kids to now rescue the rescue the mom and uh, try and rescue Paul Rudd's character. And, uh, keep forgetting the name, uh, Gary, and uh, you know fight the uh, fight the evil uh, spirits. Uh, lucky for them, uh, having uh, with uh, Phoebe having called up and spoken to uh, to Ray Stans, which is Dan Aykroyd's character. Uh, he calls up uh, Bill Murray, Bill Murray, and uh, Ed, Ernie Hudson, which basically uh, Peter Venkman and Winston Zeddemore, and they come and join forces at the at the uh, kind of like expected uh, towards the end when the kids are fighting off the uh, fighting off Gozer, they join forces and they're able to destroy the uh, spirits and things are safe. Uh, and of course, the family is now, uh, you know. Uh, recuperating from the big fight that they just had with the evil spirits. Uh, surprisingly enough, it was only in the post credits that you actually get to see Sigourney, we Sigourney Weaver, uh, P uh, who plays Dana Barrett in the first two movies. He and they are uh, wealthy and they're, uh, uh, they're basically trying to do some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, experiment with uh, you know reading uh, tele. Uh, what do you call it? ESP, and um, she she tells him that she knows that he's been uh, tricking and stuff. Um, so th the movie towards the end they do set up a little bit of a, uh, what do you call it? Possibility of a sequel, and I hope they get it because I did enjoy this film. Uh, there was a little bit of a problem for me watching it this afternoon because I was very tired and sleepy, so I actually fell asleep in between. So I had to. Uh, get back to where I where I remembered that I had uh, the point where I actually remembered and then rewatch it again. But yeah, overall I enjoyed it. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Uh, it was fun. Um, I although like I, I, like I explained, I'm always going to hold this franchise at fault because they could have done so much more with these characters. Uh, even when um, uh, when Hannibal Ramis was alive, they could have done quite a few sequels. Um, at least a couple in the 90s maybe and one in the 2000s or something like that you know should have been you could have had a lot more <laughs> is what i'm saying it was so much fun to see them back in these uniforms and you know uh, with the with their weapons and stuff it's a it's a big nostalgia factor because uh, the the uh, both the ghostbuster movies for me are uh, something that i hold dear and dear to my heart absolutely love them so i don't know why uh, we could have had more Ghostbusters instead of the 2016 film. <laughs> I could keep seeing that again and again. Yeah, 8 out of 10 for me. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, no complaints. Not too many complaints. Uh, but I think it, the movie did take a little bit of time to actually um, 
get going and that was the only uh, only reason why I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. So thank you very much guys. Have a good night.